do you want to get started with cncf this video will help you do that with cncf trail maps if you are new to this channel i am kaila koparkar i make content around devops devrel and cncf ecosystem so let's get started So what is CNCF trail map? CNCF trail map was launched along with CNCF landscape 2.0, which we see nowadays. CNCF trail map has been there around a uh, couple of years. So as you know, there are multiple ways to get into cloud native ecosystem, but there has been a well trusted and a well tested uh, way to do that. And CNCF trail maps tries to put that into graphical format. I came, uh, I got an introduction to it a couple of uh, weeks ago. So the, I'm making this video to let you all know about such an amazing graphic uh, to help you all to get started with CNCF. This uh, CNCF trail map was originally uh, created for enterprises to get started uh, for their uh, cloud native journey and build uh, cloud native applications. But as a student or a learner, you can also uh, take benefit of this trail map in your learning and to track down uh, your path into cncf ecosystem so let's see how this trail map looks so this is one of the introductory blog by cncf itself and this mentions the introducing the cloud native landscape 2.0 the interactive edition as i mentioned earlier and it suggests uh, and tells all the cool features that came with uh cncf landscape 2.0 version and below it mentions the uh, trail map so this is a trail map we will be taking a look uh, into it deeper but uh, you can definitely go through this blog i will link this blog into description below uh, and also this is a github repository by cncf itself uh, which is named as trail map so uh, if you want you can go ahead here i will link this uh, in the description as well so if you go below you can actually see the trail map we will just go ahead and do that so why am i creating this video today the reason is uh, while i got started with cloud native ecosystem myself i encountered with a lot of tools and lot of technologies lot of new keywords and uh, it, it's super complicated and super overwhelming to get a good start uh, while you are uh, very prepared to learn and stuff and trail map uh, does a really good job in organizing everything uh, and this has been uh, personally my kind of checklist to track my progress and track my learnings and build uh, projects and tools along the way and contribute uh, alongside so uh, you can uh, do the same as well let's see so if we go to the pdf that is provided uh, by cncf uh, trail map so let's go ahead and zoom it a bit so you can actually see it's a kind of little uh, road map uh, like it's technically a road map so while you get started uh, with uh, cncf uh, building your uh, like while you get started with cncf and devops you can actually follow this roadmap kind of thing uh, to actually uh, learn new technology in step by step manner so it doesn't happen that you get confused in halfway or uh, you don't know what the application does or what should be your next step into such a big and vast uh, technology stack so the first one is containerization and again uh, all these uh, I'm documenting all my learnings and uh, uh, whatever I'm building uh, into uh, public. So all these videos with the path, everything, uh, the like whatever tools I'm learning throughout this path are already there on my YouTube channel. And after this video, multiple would be there uh, following the same path. So if you want to learn alongside me or with me, you can actually go down, uh, go into the YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel if you want and check out those videos and uh, do the same with me uh, every all the videos are uh, project based and uh, learn by doing based so uh, it's win-win so the first one is uh, containerization so uh, we know docker and stuff if you are just getting started then uh, this this is really cool uh, to start with so first is containerization that might come with docker containers and other container registries so you should uh, like learn about dockers containers and containerization in general like all the ins and outs networking into containers and everything that is related to container in uh, basic 
then there comes ci cd uh, you might already be familiar with ci cd if you have worked with like continuous uh, integration and deployment of your applications and stuff so ci cd that means once your application is done containerizing it and uh, doing that uh, adding automation layers to your application so uh, once you push your code it all automatically gets containerized and pushed into docker hub or some other uh, container registry uh, in the similar manner so after ci cd also uh, this trail map is really good and i like it because uh, it suggests you the famous and uh, the trusted tools by the community there are multiple tools to do ci cd and other uh, such things uh, as i mentioned earlier but this trail map suggests uh, uh, two to three tools you can just get started with and uh, because they are trusted by many developers and uh, devops engineers so here uh, for ci cd it suggests argo again the argo video uh, will be on this channel if uh, you are it's not there when you are seeing this video but uh, yeah it would be there so uh, argo cd so you can uh, definitely check that out you can while learning ci cd you can start by learning argo cd multiple videos here in this channel or on youtube or uh, other resources or argo cd documentation and uh, community is always there so after ci cd and learning argo cd uh, you can go ahead for orchestration and application definition and again there are some definition kubernetes most definitely you have heard about kubernetes i can assure that uh, and there is helm uh, helm video uh, is already out you can definitely check that out so orchestration and uh, application definition so once you have uh, run your ci cd pipeline getting the container to your orchestration on kubernetes or deployment side so this is how it works so first is containerization then second is ci cd and third is orchestration and application definition and you can actually go ahead and check out uh, small links uh, as they have mentioned here again the link will be in the description so you can check that out alongside this video yourself so there are some links and other projects other than uh, this also mentioned here or you can go to cncf landscape itself and just go to uh, this category orchestration and application definition and if you don't want to try this out and try out different ones you, there will be multiple and you can uh, choose for yourself so after orchestration and def application definition you can go ahead with observability and analysis observability is really essential uh, topic when you are into cloud native ecosystem and i have learned that uh, throughout my journey so for observability and analysis there are like four four tools suggested and it actually explains why it has given these four tools so if you just uh, check it out uh, you might not understand it right now but uh, it, it is really cool for them to give you like why they have suggested those tools uh, and that uh, felt like special to me because whenever someone suggests something to me i want to understand like why are you suggesting me this so this does a really good job like pr what prometheus does what flaunty does what jaeger does what open tracing does and why are they suggesting it and you can actually see that it's cncf graduated cncf incubating so you know that it's trusted and uh, uh it's like on a uh, scale uh, on uh, cncf landscape so uh, you can see consider prometheus for monitoring flaunt for logging jaeger for tracing so it's telling you why why and what uh, are the different things these tools do and under observability and analysis you can learn these tools or other tools under the same umbrella uh, and like go ahead with uh, these three topics so you can actually uh, while listening to this video you can kind of make a checklist yourself so first is containerization ci cd or uh, orchestration then observability and analysis and maybe write down the tools and etc or you have the trail map uh, access to trail map yourself so you can go ahead and uh, check that out as well uh, a small plug uh, all these uh, uh, the tools which i am mentioning right now and as i said all the videos i have already uh, i am uh, creating videos learning and sharing it uh, myself and the blogs are there so my blog uh, site will be in the description as well so if you want to check out uh, and do a quick learning or you want uh, uh, command cheat sheets or something there will be uh, the resources are everything in description so i highly recommend you all to check the description box so after observability server uh, oops just a second server proxy and discovery mesh discovery and mesh so server uh, like 
service mesh and everything these are like super technical terms and like super confusing terms uh, when you get introduced to them the, the first time but uh, like them telling which tools and what service mesh you should try first or something that is super cool so they have uh, actually given you example of envoy core dns linkerd if you want you can go with istio or other thing there are many great uh, devrails and people out there who uh, openly advocate about these tools so you can absolutely reach out to them as well or the community if you are facing any issues with this then the sixth one is networking and policy security so networking policy and security of course so security and uh, uh, all these aspects are super important and not just the deploying but after what, what comes after deploying to kubernetes so then again cni open policy agent falco uh, you can definitely take a look at them then seventh is distributed databases and storage again super essential topic uh, again four of them like uh, one is graduated one is incubating uh, okay three are incubating again and you can actually check these tools out join their community so uh, the often the questions that gets asked like what community should i join what project should i contribute uh, what tools should i uh, look out for like what are like common uh, technologies that are involved in cncf what are the most trusted tools what i what should i learn first so all these questions are being answered uh, using the trail map so <laughs> actually you can go ahead and like make a checklist to yourself uh, that i also you can also do that as your open source contribution you can create your own uh, github repo and create issues for everything and just follow through issues and that would be a really good uh, and learning experience cncf also provides their own resources for learning so you can definitely check that out and streaming and messaging there are other things ninth one is container registry and runtime okay so see there are uh, container d harbor cryo like if you want container registry there is docker as well there is github registry as well see there are multiple examples but some of them are suggested here so you can definitely take benefit of it and check them out then software distribution uh again uh tough and uh Montre, uh i guess uh, oh uh, no tree sorry my bad so uh these are like the 10 uh uh steps or uh 10 uh milestones you can follow and actually the graphic is really cool like it looks like we are going through a road map this is really helpful uh, uh and uh, you should definitely check this out yeah and that was it for this video hope you liked it if you liked it uh make sure you hit that like button it really helps support the channel if you want to follow along through my journey or uh, my, uh want to learn with me you can uh, absolutely follow my youtube channel or uh get see me around on any socials uh, you are interested in looking for so yeah that's it for this video we will see you in the next one